Good morning. This is Eric Windheim, building biologist and electromagnetic radiation specialist. Uh, we're in a house that has a lot of dirty electricity and the clients are symptomatic. They have pressure in the head. Uh, right now, we have everything in the house off and one filter turned on. The Stetzer meter is reading 56. It's almost in the acceptable range. Uh, the oscilloscope view is very tame and the spectrum analyzer view shows virtually nothing over 10,000 cycles per second or 10 kilohertz. Okay, so now we're going to turn off the filter and we can say, whoa, okay, where's all this dirty electricity coming from? Now instead of 50, we've got 700. And you can see we have dirty electricity at 10,000, 20,000, 40,000 cycles per second. So since everything is off here in the house, where is it coming from? People next door. Everybody that shares the same transformer is sharing the same dirty electricity. Okay, so that's just what's coming in from next door. Now, we're going to turn on a dimmer switch here at the kitchen counter. And another dimmer switch. So just two dimmer switches, and there's a lot more. We could turn on more. Now we're at 1260, which is definitely a hazard. And at this level, the client said that she had pressure in the head and other uh, bad feelings. So once again, the blue is the 60 cycle sine wave. That's the electricity that PG&E sells and runs her world. The red stuff is the unintended toxic consequence of energy efficient devices such as dimmer switches, which the state of California mandates for any and all remodels or new homes, variable speed pool pumps, solar inverters, some electric car chargers, etc. So, thank you for watching.